Mamu News, bringing you news all about Mamu. I'm your news anchor, Dida Nina, and for today's top story, you are no longer allowed to have selfies or take Polaroids during Mamu's fan signs anymore. Stay tuned to find out more and why. First of all, I'd like to apologize <laughs> to everyone once again. I'm very, very sorry. I completely forgot about this piece of news. Like, I definitely knew about it. It's not like I missed it. I just, it didn't cross my mind to add it into last week's Mamu news. So you will find out about it now if you haven't already. Thank you to uh, some of my subscribers for reminding me. Mamu Solar has a new song out. Like, for real. Yeah, it's Resting in Gyeonggi-do. It's a commercialized kind of song where um, Gyeonggi-do is actually a province in Seoul and the area around Seoul as well. I guess you could say it includes Seoul and the areas around Seoul. It's like a, a, you know, it's a big province, a lot of people living there. And so they got a song for it. It's a very bright, cheerful, kind of healing, comforting song. Another casting schedule for Mata Hari's has been released, so... You can see here, we have info on June 14th all the way to June 30th, the next two weeks. Basically, Solar is going to um, perform, so far, 18 times. And I've also listed all of the uh, male leads that she's going to act with. And I've compiled a little counting list here. She's going to perform with Chang Sub seven times, Hong Ki six times, uh, Sung Sik three times, and uh, Soho twice. Out of the 42, I believe, she's going to perform 18 times, yes. And she also has uh, Mamu's anniversary off so it's just Ok Joo Hyun performing on June 19th which is very sweet. Hwasa will be attending Pierre Jouet's pop-up store <laughs> event. Uh, it's a champagne looking sort of thing. Here's all of the, the little press that she was a part of. My god those cameras. Going crazy for alcohol. And Hwasa. Oh, her outfit matches the bottle. That's cute. Um, May 5th was Children's Day in Korea. And an Instagram post was founded. The bread my son brought home from his school. It's being supported by Hwasa. On the sticker, it says, Happy Children's Day. Eat it deliciously and gain strength. So this is um, a part of Hwasa Global's project for Hwasa uh, on Children's Day. It's supposed to be announced tomorrow, but they kind of jumped the gun because of time zones, I think. Moonbyul had her fan signs for Cheese in the Trap, and they were talking about um, more variety shows that Byul uh, wants to appear on, or maybe her fans want her to appear on so Amu asked what about DNA mate and she answered um, my little sister doesn't like being on TV she doesn't even say that her sister outside it's because there are various people approaching others Ver there's like different types of people when they approach others like, for example, her third youngest sister was hurt a lot. It's her fault, please listen to the reason. When she was young, she told her friends about me, um, but did her friends stay still? They talked to their friends and friends, etc. Many friends approached her because of that, and it hurt her feelings. 
since my second sister already knows these things, she doesn't even say that she has an older sister. She just says, what? She just says, it's just me and my little sister. So to her, I just disappeared. If anyone asks, who do you live with? She'll answer, I live alone. Okay, you live alone, but I completely understand. It's because there might be people who approach my sisters, not because they want to be friends with them, but with other intentions. So I understand. That's why I don't think we'll appear on DNA Mate. Yongsunani was incredible, especially her older sister that went to that program. And um, yeah, there's like other stuff going on. If you want to take a look at it before Mamunu, uh, pff, Mamu, pff, what? what am I talking about? Mumu subs translates this fan sign. Also, uh, during her promotions, uh, show champion and the show pre voting has ended, and Moonbill actually won number one first place. Internationally in Korea, she was number two. China, she was number one. And the show, she was on number two as well. Uh, as you may have known now, um, she did not win. Another person says Moonbyul said that her photo book will be released soon, but there's not going to be lots of, quote, trap concept photos inside. She said that the trap concept photos are less than what she expected. OP says, uh, it's fine if the photo book includes the same photos as Trap version album's booklet. Bill says that she will talk to the company about it. <sighs> Next up, uh, during one of her fan signs, or the latest one, uh, she wants to go on a V Live and drink together with Moose. So adults can have a drink, underage people, you can have like Coke or cider. Let's just have an online party to wrap this whole thing up. And so it will start at 8.30 p.m. Korean Standard Time. Might be a little bit late. Don't wait for me too early before the live. And um, any drink is fine with her. So what are you going to drink? If I was awake, I would probably drink strawberry soju. It's, but it's not like the flavored soju. You get Calpico. Okay, hear me out. Yeah, cool. And then you put in some soju. It's so good, I swear. You guys have to try it out. Okay. Do you want the good news or the bad news first? What's that? Oh, you're a camera, you can't talk back? Okay, well, let me give you the good news and then I'll give you the bad news. Moonbill has been ranked number one for 2022's Korea Brand Customer Loyalty Index under live streaming show DJ category. Woohoo! So basically she won a day song, which is what I'm interpreting. That's why she got a day song, right? She, she was ranked number one. One of the most influential people of Korean customers. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. She is so influential. And not only that, she is now the number one Mamu member that has sold the most in her first week for solo albums. It used to be Solar with, um, what was it? Uh, 70? No, where is she? Spit it out, here we go. Uh, seven, 73,000 copies, and now Moonbyul has uh, gotten a hundred, over 100,000 in her first week. The first day even was 68,000. That's kind of wild. Um, might have helped that she had three versions of her album as well, but still an amazing, amazing feat. Mamu at Met Gala. Icons. And now it's time for our top story for today, aka the bad news. So they have now banned selfies and taking Polaroids at fan sign meets, all thanks to a person <laughs> that has broken the rules. Dun dun dun. 
So yeah, there won't be any more selfies or Polaroid taking sessions during uh, the fan signs anymore. Basically, it's uh, because someone has taken her Polaroid that she signed and reprinted it. The caption says, maybe each country has their own form of black market practices, using celebrities to earn money. Celebrity took the photo with you slash of you doesn't mean you can just resell it this way. So yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. A lot of people are very angry, of course. Um, I totally understand, you know. It's uh, definitely heartbreaking when like you buy the ticket to see them, you know, have your album signed and you know, it's a privilege really to even get selfies with them. That's not something that happens often. And it's done in like the most utmost respect for the artist as well. Like they're giving you the opportunity to do selfies. And then someone just took advantage of that and is trying to, you know, get some money off of it. So I totally understand that why fans are really angry. And of course, you know, it takes just one person to ruin it for the other people. But at the same time, you know, maybe they were in a tight situation and they really needed the money. I don't know. It sucks. But then again, you know, I'm an international fan. This doesn't... <laughs> I don't see them often anyways, so I'm kind of like, meh, whatever, sucks, sucks to be that, I don't, I don't know, I'm not too angry, but it is what it is, you know, I don't even know if I would take up their selfie offer anyways, but that's just me, either way, at the end of the day, it just sucks, and I'm really sorry that moves that are really upset about this, you know, I hope one day that they'll be able to revert back once they earn or once they gain our trust again. Moving on to some uh, better news, I guess you could say. Remember, Mount Moon was on Netflix. It's called Take One. It shows the process of the artist 10 minutes before and after performing one song on stage with any NGs. They're aiming to release the show on Netflix during the first half of 2022. So basically by the end of June, this will come soon. And I'm super stoked. This is on Netflix, you guys. Netflix that, I mean, you know, it's a good time because Netflix is currently failing right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, losing hundreds of thousands of subscribers, but it is what it is. If you cannot attend K-Pop Flex, you have some very exciting news. They will have a live streaming event that's not live at all on May 29th and I think the 30th, depending on your time zone. So it's going to be a 90 minute VOD of the K-Pop festival happening in Germany that I will be going to next week. Links to the tickets and everything else will be down in the description box below as well. Um, basically, here's some time slots. So it looks like if you click on the link, it'll automatically convert the time for you. And these are just some slots uh, that it will air but the content will be exactly the same whatever time slot you choose. So if you live in Europe, you might want to pick that time slot. Or if you live in America, you know, the eastern side. For me, I'm in Chicago, so mine would be at 6 p.m. Um, or I could choose the 9 o'clock show as well. So it's, it's going to be aired live six times throughout the day. There's, you can't watch in South Korea, I guess. I don't know why. And then you cannot um, get a VOD afterwards. It's only live. So get your tickets now, I guess. And um, it's gonna be 90 minutes long. You'll have a unique watch together with friends link at the bottom of your ticket email. So you can, oh, wait, what? 
So it looks like you can't share the link. Your friend would have to buy a ticket as well. This is basically like a private watch party, uh, but everyone has to buy the ticket. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> Your friend can't watch for free. Man, they really figured this out instead of Netflix, I guess. So good news for you. Looks like it turns out to be true. You get to watch Mamamoo or relive it again May 29th slash 30th. Oh yes, also, if, but if you are going to K-Pop Flex, there are, there will be some fans, particularly Moos, that have printed out 5,000 banners for us to hold at the concert. Um, it's going to happen, it says Sunday here, but it's going to happen on both days, at least for us. I don't know about Monster X, since I think, you know, they're only appearing on Sunday. Um, I think, so here's the banner. It says never letting go, and they're going to, it says 200, but they're going to print out 5,000. So there's definitely, and it's going to be free. If you see anyone, you know, handing these out or like anyone holding it, don't be afraid. I know you guys are shy, but do not be afraid to ask, where did you get that banner? I'm a mood too. And then it'll probably happen like outside the venue, but they haven't given me a specific location either. Um, also, today is probably the last day if you're a co coffee supporter uh, and you're watching this on Monday or uh, unless you're watching this on Tuesday, uh, yeah, today is basically the last day for you to join my Discord, get the K-pop flex roll and be added to my list to go to a pub where we're all meeting at. The entrance fee is 10 pounds, but, or 10 euros, actually, I think. Sorry, I get really mixed up with European currency. Uh, 10 euros for the entrance fee, but if you're on my list, then that gets slashed. I got quite a deal for you guys. So please, please join us on Friday. The door, the pubs, of the, the pub will open at 5 p.m. German time. <laughs> whatever that is and uh we'll probably be there a little bit after we finish our dinner so yeah i hope to see you guys there if you see me please don't be afraid to come up and we'll talk and say hello and of and and it'll be exciting i it's so i'm i'm so excited to see you guys uh if you are going but that's all the news that i have for you today Thanks for tuning in to the 9 o'clock news that never starts at 9. Good night and good news.